fetal alcohol spectrum disorder, or FASD, is a severe neurodevelopmental disorder that results from prenatal alcohol exposure or alcohol exposure during pregnancy. My daughter was exposed to alcohol um, during pregnancy and this has caused a profound brain impairments that are going to affect her quality of life forever. Other severe outcomes can include cardiac, renal, ocular, auditory and skeletal defects uh, ranging in severity. Miscarriage, stillbirth and prematurity are also possible consequences of prenatal alcohol exposure. How's things going so far? Yeah, not too bad. GPs are the first port of call. Um, the information that they give to women in pregnancy is vital and we have to get it right. My GP made an assumption that I knew to avoid alcohol and I wasn't asked. We need to remember that FASD is a condition that can affect all babies and it, mothers who are consuming alcohol during their pregnancy are at risk of having children that develop FASD. GPs need to understand that there's a hugely significant cost associated with FASD. There are so many reasons to ask us about alcohol during pregnancy. I didn't know that alcohol crosses the placenta. Timing, frequency and quantity of alcohol exposure are all linked to the severity of FASD. Facial features are strongly associated with the diagnosis of FASD. However, these only occur in about one third of all diagnosed cases. I urge all GPs um, to ask pregnant women about their alcohol use. Uh, not only um, following pregnancy confirmation, but also before their pregnancy was confirmed. Brain development continues across the whole nine months of pregnancy. And alcohol can cause lifelong damage to different regions of the brain at any time during that nine months. Alcohol use in pregnancy is everybody's business. As a GP, it is vital that you advise women either planning a pregnancy or in early pregnancy that no alcohol is the safest option. My message for GPs is ask us. Ask me about drinking alcohol because my health affects my baby's health forever. Mm -hmm.